Okay, I'm going to be speaking on Matthew's the 8th chapter, the 5 through the 13th verse, and also Luke, the 8th chapter, 43 to the 48th verse. King James Version. Matthew's 8 and 5 through 13 said, And when Jesus would enter to Cape Carnir, there came unto him a satyr beseeching him, and his saying, Lord, my servant lied at home sick of a palsy. Grievous he tormented. And Jesus said unto him, I will come and heal him. And the satyrian answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou should come under my roof. But speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. For I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to this man, Go, and he goeth, and to another cometh, and he cometh. And, and to my servant do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard it, he marveled and said to him that followed, Verily I say unto you, I have not found no great faith, no, not in Israel. Praise God. I'm just going to stop, praise God, at the 10th verse. And also I'm going to go on to Luke, the 8th chapter, in the 43rd verse. Through the 48th verse, it said, And a woman having an issue of blood 12 years, which has spent all her living, Upon physician, neither could be healed of any. Came behind him and touched the board of his 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 garment, and immediately her issue of blood stenched or stopped. And and Jesus said, "Who touched me?" When all denied, Peter Peter and they that were with him said, "Master, the multitude thronged thee, and pressed thee, and sayest thou who touched me?" And Jesus said. Somebody uh, have touched me, for I perceive that virtue is gone out of me. And when a woman saw that she was, when a woman saw that she was not hid, she came trembled and fell down before, before him, and declared unto him, before all the people, for which cause she had touched him, and how she was immediately healed. And he said unto her daughter, Be a good comfort. Thou faith have made thee whole. Go in peace. Praise God. I want to talk about, praise God, if I can just get to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If I can just get to Jesus. My subtopic, I'm going to talk about having faith in God to, fit, to heal your issues. Having faith in God. Hallelujah. As we read these stories, praise God. Hallelujah. These was two people who had faith, praise God, in the Son of God, Yahshua HaMashiach, had faith that he was able to heal, praise God. But I'm uh, in Hebrews 11 and 6, praise God, the Bible said, without faith it's impossible to please God. Hallelujah. Faith is what moves God, praise God. And Mark 6 and, 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 and 5 says, Jesus he didn't do many miracles when he went to his hometown. He did not do many miracles there because of the people unbelief, praise God. Unbelief, praise God, can, can can hinder your progress. Unbelief can hinder you from growing. Unbelief can hinder you from being healed. Unbelief can uh, uh, can prevent you from being delivered. You have to first believe God. Hallelujah. So it's impossible. 11, 11, uh, Romans 11 and 6 is impossible. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. Praise God. In Romans 10 and 7 say, So by faith come by hearing, by hearing, by the word of God. What I'm saying, you got to hear the word of God to increase your faith. It was Yahshua who said, If you have faith as, a, as small as a grain of a mustard seed, mustard seed, you can move a mountain. Praise God. So you have to have faith, hallelujah, in God that whatever issue that you're going through, hallelujah, whatever you may be facing, hallelujah, I don't care what that issue is, hallelujah, have faith in God that if I can just get to Jesus, hallelujah, I know, praise God, that God will deliver me. God will set me free. God will bring me out. Praise God. Mark 11, 22 said, Yahshua, Jesus said, have faith in God. So it was a command even by Yahshua to have faith in God. Praise God. In Romans and Psalms 20 and 7 said, some trust in chariots and some uh, some in horses. But I will I remember the Lord, uh, 
I will remember the name of the Lord, our God. Praise God. Some people put their trust in people more than they put their trust in God. But praise God. God is looking for people that's not going to put your trust in people. Don't put your trust even in your family. Don't you put your trust even in yourself because you even let yourself down. But keep your trust and your hope in God alone. And know that whatever you're going through, I don't care what the issue is, God will deliver you from the snails of the father and from the noisy pestilence and people that come up against you and reject you and hurt you and, and belittle you. Know that God is your deliverer. And if you can just get to Jesus, hallelujah, I don't care what your issue is, he will bring you out. Praise the Lord. And Psalms 31 and 14 said, but I trust in you. Oh, Lord, I said you are my God. We have to trust in God. Proverbs 3 and 5 said, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lead not into your own understanding. What I'm saying, if you look at your situation, it can cause it can cause you to not have faith. If you're looking at your circumstances and how things look, it can cause you not to have faith. That's why in Proverbs 3 and 5 it says, trust in the Lord. Hakabasha and lead not into your own understanding. Hallelujah. What I'm saying, trust in God. God has been bigger than any trial. He bigger than any test. He bigger than anything you must face. Praise God. Trust in God. What I'm saying, I don't care what your issue is. If you could just get to Jesus, know that everything is going to be all right. And the woman that issue of blood, the Bible says she was bleeding for over 12 years. She done went to many physicians and nobody was able to heal her. Oh, but she heard Yahshua, Jesus was coming in town. And even though a lot of people was pressing him and was close to him, she had the attitude, if I could just get to Jesus, if I could just touch the hem of his garment, his talit, his prayer to her, if I could just touch it, I know that I should be healed. Praise God. Her faith, praise God, made her press towards praise, press towards the Lord. What I'm saying, your faith, you got to press towards Jesus. You got to press towards anything that try to hinder you, trying to stop you from praise God for getting what you need from God. And sometimes, hallelujah, you got to move friends out the way. You got to move family out the way. You got to move enemies out the way. You got to move anything, anything in your life that's hindering you from getting to Jesus. You got to move it out the way. Hallelujah. What I'm saying, I don't care what your issues may be. It may be drugs. It may be alcohol. It may be a best friend. It may be fornication. It may be adultery. It may be anything that try to hinder you from getting to Jesus. Hallelujah. God is able to deliver and set you free on today. Hallelujah. Had an attitude. If I could just get to Jesus, I know he's able to heal my issue. Praise God. And the Satyrian, he was an army officer. Praise God. He occupied Israel at the time. So actually, he was he was the Jewish people enemy because he occupied the land of Israel. But you know what? He had faith in Jesus. And he told Jesus, he said, my, my servant is at home sick and and he a palsy, and, and I, I need you to heal him. And Jesus got up to get ready to go with him. But he entreated Jesus. He said, I'm not even worthy of you to come into my house. But all you got to do is say the word. He said, I got men under me under authority. If I tell this man come and I tell this man go, they do what I say. He knew about the chain of command. The army officer, Tyrion, he knew about the chain of command. And he let Jesus know, all you got to do is say the word. Hallelujah. What I'm saying. Hallelujah. All you got to do is get God to say it. Hallelujah. And you know everything is working for you. Hallelujah. Because once God said, know that it is settled in heaven. Why I say that? Because if you can get God to say it, you got everything going for you. Hallelujah. What I'm saying. Hallelujah. Everything is going to be all right. All you got to do is trust and have faith in God that whatever issue you're going through, God will deliver. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All you got to do is hear God to say it. How knew you know that everything is going to be all right. What I'm saying, if God said, hallelujah, he's going to do it. If he spoke it, he's going to bring it to pass. God said, I'm not a man that I should lie. Neither I'm the son of man that I should repent. If God said, he'll do it. If he spoke it, he'll bring it to pass. Hallelujah. I will trust in the Lord with all my heart. And I will lead not into my own understanding. I'm going to acknowledge God in all my ways. He called by shot. And I know he will direct my faith, my path. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have faith and believe. Hallelujah. That God is able. Hallelujah. He's not only able to, he not only able to fix your issue, but whatever you're going through, he's able to bring you out. Hallelujah. You're going to have to trust in God no matter what you see. Yes, trials is going to come. Yes, storms is going to come. Yeah, persecution is going to come. Yes, rejection is going to come. Hakabasha, but I'm going to trust in the Lord with all my heart. Hallelujah. I'm going to know that what issue I have. When the enemy come in there like a flood, God will lift a standard against them. Hallelujah. Have faith. 
How do God is looking for people that's going to have faith? When Jesus went to his own hometown, and the people, they didn't believe in him. They said, isn't, isn't that Mary's baby? Isn't that Jesus of Nazareth? Isn't that Joseph's son? Isn't his brothers and sisters here? And the Bible said Jesus didn't do many miracles there because of the people unbelief. You're going to have to have faith in God. Hallelujah. What a have faith. Yes, have faith. If you it takes faith to believe that Jesus was here 2000 years ago. It takes faith to believe that God sent Jesus here to die on the cross for your sin. It takes faith to believe that God raised Jesus Christ Christ for on the third day for your justification. It takes faith to believe hallelujah that you you saved that you know when you died that you're going to have you going to heaven. That all take faith. Hallelujah what I'm saying. Without faith it's impossible to please God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We hallelujah have to have faith in God. Hallelujah. I don't care what you're going through on today. Know that everything is going to be all right. I don't care what your issue is. You got to have the attitude like, like the one with the issue of blood. I know if I could just get to Jesus. Hallelujah. I know that everything is going to be all right. If you can just get God to say it, you got everything working for you. Hallelujah. The one with the issue of blood, she said, if I could just press. Pass the people and get to the Lord. I know that he will bring me out. I know he will deliver me. I know he will heal me. I know he will save me. I know he will fight for me. Hallelujah. When man give up on you, when the doctor said they can't help you, that's when God come through and he show you who he is. He is the great and mighty God. Some of them call him the Lord of hosts. Some of them call him the mighty one of Jacob. Some are calling the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Some are calling the Holy One of Israel. Hallelujah. Some are calling the Alpha and Omega. Hallelujah. But I know him through Yeshua HaMashiach. The righteousness of Yah have brought me into repentance. I don't care what your issue is. Hallelujah. God, have that faith. That satirian faith. God, if you just say it, you ain't got to come to my house. Some of us, we, we, if God wanted to come to our house right now, we would want to clean up and straighten stuff out before he come in. But had that faith like a satirian. God, if you just say the word, hallelujah, I know my servant shall be whole. God, you just say that you're going to heal me. I know I shall be made whole. Hallelujah. God is looking for you to have faith in him in spite of what you see. Through the storms of life, have faith. Through the floods of life, have faith. When the enemy come in like a flood, have faith. I don't care what you face. He will deliver. He will bring you out. He will set you free. I don't care what the issue is. God is bigger than any trial. God is bigger than any test. God is bigger than any tribulation. God is bigger than any adversity. He will. Haka Basha healed your issues today. You just got to have an attitude like the one with the issue of blood. If I can just get to Yeshua, I know that everything is going to be all right. I may not see it, but I know he can do it. I may not know how God going to do it, but he going to do it. You got to trust and believe in God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have faith. Hallelujah. Have faith that God will deliver. If I could just get to Yeshua. I know that everything is going to be all right. Trust in God with all your heart and lead not into your own understanding. People will always let you down. Hakabasha, family let you down. Children, mother, father, sister, brother, cousin, niece, nephew, they may let you down. But just stay in that secret place. My God, the God I serve said I will never leave you nor forsake you. I'll be with you always, even to the end of the world. He never promised you that your, your people weren't going to leave you, but he did stand for himself. Hallelujah. People promised me things. They didn't come through. Quick to give up. But you know who always was there? Yahshua HaMashiach. The righteousness of God was there. Hakabashai. Stay connected to the true vine. Know that God will deliver you. Don't worry about what's going on. Look unto him who is the author and the finisher of your faith. Stay in that race. We're in that race to win. And God is saying, hallelujah. He's saying today, I don't care what your issue is. Hakabasha, have faith. If I could just get to Jesus, I know that everything is going to be all right. Have faith in God. Faith is what moves God. Faith, hallelujah. Jesus said about the satirian. 
When he told Jesus, you don't have to come to my house, just say the word. Jesus said, I had never seen no, no greater faith. No, not in the house of Israel. And that's a tear. He was a Gentile. He wasn't even a Jewish person like Jesus. But he, Jesus was marveled and inspired by his faith. Faith impressed God. Faith moved God. Hakabasha. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. I don't care what your issue is. God will deliver. He will deliver. He will bring you out. He is the king of glory. He is the mighty one of Jacob. He is the great and mighty king. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we bless you. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we glorify you. Lord, we magnify you. Lord, we give you all the glory, all the honor, all the places. Hallelujah. We believe. We trust. We have faith that you will deliver. Hallelujah. He will deliver. Yes, he will deliver. Hallelujah. Lord, we bless your name. If I said anything to encourage your heart, have faith in God. 